Welcome to another edition of Black Twitter. It's my birthday edition, man. Go ahead and show love by smashing a like button. You feel me? If you want to go the extra mile, go to Stay Stop Shop. That's the home of my merch collection right there. Everything is 20% off. Just go ahead and grab you some shit right there. Code automatically applied at the checkout. Dope ass new garments and stuff. Dope ass new shit. Go ahead and get right, but let's go ahead and get to what you're here for. So go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend and let's go ahead and let the fun begin. First thing first. So we gotta pop it off with Rose, cause Rose definitely got the energy, that birthday energy that I got today, you feel me? What day? Hey, hey, hey. Take this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, you're popping the video off right today, man. If y'all didn't smash the like button already, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Let's get to it, bro. So just hilarious ass and can you relate? Check this out. Why do we do this? This shit is done and you don't have to fucking respond. I'm done. <coughs> but keep checking for a response. <laughs> Not a shirt in the shower. Still not him. <laughs> Why do we do this? Ah, uh, man. Um, I'm pretty sure I got my own little version of relating to that some type of way, man. I don't know. You feel me? Sometimes everybody need a little window seat. Don't want nobody next to me. That's that uh, Erica Badu song about taking a trip, getting away and shit like that. Shouts out to Tupac, another Gemini. But um, getting away, but still want somebody to miss you while you're gone, you feel me? I, I need you to still want me to come back when I'm gone. Next story though. So I'm always competing with more day weekend on my birthdays, but that means a lot of good food, everybody be in town, good vibes, but so you always got these one aunties that come through just like this. Don't wash their hands, just be just like this. Who made this potato salad? All right, why is these onions and these bell peppers so big? This is a garden salad. Okay, anyway. Who made these hot dogs? Put them back on the grill for a couple more minutes. These are all light skin. Drake, girl, uh-uh. <laughs> I know like mine's a little bit darker than that. Who made this mashed potato? I know this like banana pudding. Where the bananas? Okay, first of all, I got teeth. Y'all not gonna nurse at home and puree my food to death, honey. What is this <laughs> souffle, y'all? Let's go. I'm done. Come on. But auntie, what the hell you brought? Auntie, what did you bring? God damn, next story. All right, check lady out right here. All right, what's my motherfucking uh, marriage ratio? Give it to me. 12%? Ha <laughs> ha! Player for life on my PIM peak, bitch. <laughs> I'm a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you still got time to change things, baby girl. You guess he still got time to write the ship. Next story. All right, so when he can't control his aim. Babe, is you gonna bring my towel? Got a little kid. You been babysitting all that time? Get up. Crazy tail, so. Why do you find all these miniature babies, bro? Babe. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. Shit, that is control aim. That's why I be trying to aim for everything. You feel me? Got to you know, got to use a whole damn frame. Fill up the frame. Next story. All right, so check this out, bro. Hey, is it cool if I go inside real quick just to see if it's popping before I bet? Yeah, 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 you gotta bet. Sometimes you know how it is. It's gonna be popping in like I bet. Well, we'll you stick a lady here, bitch. All right. Run. <laughs> They be trying to for negative bagel on some people, you feel me? You gotta be gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> nah, that shit was dead as hell in there for real for real. Won't get me next story. Alright, so they saying Ooh my out here trying to be the great value, Kevin Samuels. Check this shit out right here. Hoeing around all through your twenties. Stop hoeing around all through your thirties. You give your twenties to the street Negroes. You give your thirties to the pretty boys. They use you up, dog you out. Now you're in your forties. 
and nobody's jumping to marry your ass. And so now you're saying it ain't no good black men. No, no, no. There's plenty of good black men. The problem is you gave your best years to men who didn't deserve it. The problem is you gave your best years to men who didn't deserve it. And now you see your biological clock is ticking and your beauty clock. See, you got a biological clock. How long you can have those babies and you got a beauty clock? How long you going to be looking good? A biological clock? How long you going to have them babies and a beauty clock? How long you going to be looking good? And guess what? When you hit those 40s, don't get me wrong, black don't crack. But everybody's the, everybody declines. Oh, oh, I know damn well. Did this motherfucker just studied Kevin Simons for the past two damn weeks? I know damn well, nigga, then what was the beef then? Nah, nah, you just ain't like that he had some shit to say about your damn uh, approach about everything. Or people saying that you should come with us like Umar, but not a man passed away. You gonna regurgitate everything the man fucking saying? What the fuck, Umar? You just summarize all of these fucking live streams that you had with all these damn women in one minute and eight seconds. What was the fucking beef for then? It was more ego than anything when Umar and Kevin Samuels had that beef. That shit was more ego than everything, bro. What the fuck? What the hell? That shit just threw me. I don't know. How about y'all? Like, let me know in the comment section below. That is like mind blowing. Like, I I, I low key want to dive into this more and more of a longer video. This black Twitter, so y'all know we be in and out on topics and stuff. Just so we keep it flowing, keep it moving smoothly, keep it moving smoothly. But what I'm saying right now, like this is wild. You think about it is everything he's saying is true. Everything he's saying is real. But when a man was saying these harsh truths to the ladies, you discounted his truth and split y'all audiences and closed off some people's ears from hearing that just because of your ego. That's the best way I could describe it. But hey, it is what it is, man. At least the goddamn rest in peace, Kevin Samuels, bro. Uma, nah, that's crazy as hell, dog. Next story, though. So I was quoted by car to make a post on how blessed I am. I see this. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this Dynasty. Look at this, look at this. Now, if I go off, I'm wrong. If I go off, I'm wrong. That's disrespectful. It's not a joke and it's not funny. Get the out. Do not play with me like that. You don't open nobody's car like that. Are you insane? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sorry. you're not sorry or you wouldn't have done it. Move. Sound like Minaj. Insane. You take a picture outside. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> now Jamaicans, man, they be wild as hell. I'm playing with Jamaicans like that. But um What I wanna say about the incident is that I understand. I have a business. You didn't know who the car belonged to. You thought it was that white lady. You didn't think it was this young sexy ting right here. Um but we're unapologetic. That's the real issue. That's the really issue. Like I'm really just sad because after I yelled, you guys were laughing. And I was embarrassed. I don't like to yell. Do I look like a barbaric person? I'm a princess. Oh, and guess what? They can't find the lady. <laughs> the lady did wasn't even a customer there. She's okay. not in their system. That lady just, if you live in Miami, you know it's like a luxury car spot. Um, so a lot of people, after they get their car detailed, they take photos. This lady like just that. ran off on the plug. I don't know what's up with her. There's something wrong with her. Y'all be careful out here. Black men protect black women. Unfortunately, it seems I gotta protect myself because not even the men that work there want to protect me. I don't know. What, I want. what the fuck? How we, how we get in that? How, how the hell we get into this? Nigga, what the, f <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, bro. Nigga just chilling at the crib and catching strays, dog. We ain't got nothing to do with that shit, bro. All right, so ladies, be careful about buying a house because it'll be two times harder to get a man. No real man gonna move in with you. He gonna feel like you're gonna control him, which is kind of true. <sighs> um, 
listen if you got the money ladies and if you want to purchase real estate purchase fucking real estate if you got if you got to if a man has an issue with moving into your crib then you know he have you can move into his shit if he have his own shit and then y'all can use that as a commercial or a rental property or sell it whatever you want to do with it you do what you want with your shit you feel me but if he has an issue with moving into your crib then he should have the money to go ahead and have his own shit and you move on to move into his stuff and it just, it just be that you feel me um um, yeah, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. You feel me? Because in, in the meantime, like, yes, I do want men and women to be together in their in our relationships and do things, get a shit right. But in the meantime, what should that woman be doing? In the meantime, I hope she is being a competent adult and getting things in order and making sure things are running smoothly on her end so she could be a competent, functioning adult. And talk about a competent, functioning adult. Look at these cheeks. Hey, Pam. So they ain't never looked like this, your ass. They ain't never. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her how old you are. 60. 60. Right, All right, then. Don't play like that. Them cheats look like they got a mortgage of their own. Goddamn. Next story. So God, I think I'm gonna love this woman. Please make all her side dudes disappear. <laughs> oh, man. Are snitching your homeboys or cheating your girlfriend? Ooh. Damn, man. Cheating the girlfriend. Cheating the girlfriend. All right. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Hell nah, they say plot twist. That's not his girl, just his side piece. Ha <laughs> Next story. All right, so please wear cologne that matches your face, making me turn around for foolishness. <laughs> hey, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> that's fucked up. Y'all be mean as hell, bro. Let us be mean like that, bro. <laughs> Let us be mean like that. Y'all catching fits and saying, you hate women. Shut up. Shut up. Next story. All right, so when y'all finally meet off Tinder. Oh, uh, you can get in. Who are you? What you mean? You are not the man in this picture. No, I, <laughs> I took that picture when I was in Africa. Yeah, but you can come in. Come sit down. Where are your eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, next story. All right, so he said, nah, not today. Check out this baby. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hey, don't run from the Lord. Where are you going? <laughs> that baby was out of there. <laughs> that baby could run a full flat right now today. I bet, man. Hell nah, dog. Sign that boy up. Get him some cleats. Get him some spikes. Get him whatever he need. That boy's an athlete. First round pick Olympic gold medalist. You feel me? So Danica Marie is going viral. Let's see what she got to say right here. My husband coming to this house, he runs this shit, period. And I know that sounds, you know, old school and I get called to pick me and all that bullshit, whatever. My husband runs me, period, point blank, period. He runs me. He has the last say so at the end of the day. He's the king of this house. He runs this household. Yes, he yes he allows me to do what I need to do. I can move freely. I can, you know, make my own decisions. If I see something, I want to do something, he's going to support it. But the minute that he's like, nah, that ain't going, it ain't going. Why? Because as a queen, I respect my husband's wisdom. I respect my husband's output and outlook on life. Yeah. That's a black queen right there. <laughs> That's a black queen right there. Um, let's look at let's dive into the comments. We don't do this too often on the, on these videos, the the black twitters. But let's dive into the comments. So um, amen from Lil Scrappy. Uh, come on guys, not on holiday. We just started grilling <laughs> to each its own. If that worked for her, who are we to complain? True, true. Look at these. These are pretty. Um, okay, comments. If he's running things, meaning he's providing everything at home. Enjoy your home, girl. You rock, girl. If she like it, I love it as it should. Okay, 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 okay. These comments are nice. These comments are nice. You know what? I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to look for, for, for foolishness. I'm going to take it. And let's go ahead and move on to the next story. And I tell people all the time, two things I'm going to do. If I married you, I'm going to be faithful or I'm going to pay all the bills. But I ain't doing both. <laughs> Hell nah, man. TK Kirkland, people. TK Kirkland. 
So me and my ex are still friends. I'ma always care about him. Nah. Not fucking with that, not hearing that. Nope, 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 nope. Don't care. Just because women are emotional and they could cheat that way, fuck no. And, just, and especially with someone who's been up in you before. Nope, ain't happening. Can't do it, won't do it. Fuck off. Next story. Would anybody like a cat? <laughs> anybody? Don't all speak at once. Does anybody want a cat? <laughs> Please. Feel free. Shit, disrespectful for real, man. <laughs> Next. So, Ricky Williams, ex NFL star, run Ricky Run, Ricky Williams, former running back, left the league because he wanted to smoke weed. He um he is taking the last name of his wife. He said he started thinking of ways to create more balance in our relationship, and one of the things that popped into my head was taking her last name. Now, Ricky. You were a trendsetter when it came to, you know, being a, a an athlete that advocated for marijuana use. But in regards to this, we're not following you. Not happening. <clears throat> Next story. Whore, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? Go work and fellow. How's God blessing you? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas funny as fuck, bro. So my daddy knew I was going to be expensive. That's why he left <laughs> At least the last daddy, a better daddy than this one. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, bro. All right, so lady says, I will never fully recover from my daughter pulling down my shorts and exposing my bare ass and pussy in the middle of Panera Bread this morning of all places. One woman's, one woman's misfortune is another woman's birth control. <laughs> OMG, this is terrifying. Are you okay, girl? No, LOL. I'm ready to get my tubes tied. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. No, like, I can't imagine the humiliation. And you can't even react, man. What the fuck? You deserve a vacation. Hope your week goes better. The worst part is that once I got my shorts out of her grip and to pull them up, she lost it crying. And I had to keep her from slamming her head on the floor. It was such a scene. So, damn. So, she like bent over, booty and coochie all out. She just homesick. <laughs> oh, man. Hell nah, bro. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Next story. All right. So, Michael Blackson says this right here. Think about it. She, it's been, I mean, early in the relationship, she, she, she didn't, she, she enjoyed watching me sleep with women. Oh, great. You know, she did. And in fact, I mean, when me and her having sex, you know what, what makes her come? When, when she, when I tell her what I did with the last person. <laughs> uh, think about it. Does she really like you, bro? Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something going on there. Something going on there. Their relationship is kind of, it keeps going on viral, but um, next story. So I gave a little shot at my number last night and this is how she introduced herself. Big pussy. <laughs> I guess this big pussy blank is her name. <laughs> wow. All right, so every time I hear a woman saying she need an extensive break from motherhood like a deadbeat dad or a negligent parent, I know she ain't want to be a parent for real. At best, she tolerating a child she grew to love. This lady Paris always say some wild shit. You know, you just go ahead and get everybody fighting and shit. But this some accurate shit. I'm thinking that she must be reacting to this video right here. I'll put it up here if I remember. But if I don't remember, it's Sharp from No Jumper having a conversation with a lady. And um, she's saying that she needed a break from her 10-month-old baby. She needed a break from that. Three weeks, I think. A three-week break. You feel me? Some wild shit, but um, yeah, we got no type of parents out here in this world, and if they don't get them breaks, and those type of parents lead to shit like this. So, so I can't keep it going because it may get copywritten, but that's a little ass girl rapping the fuck nigga free song word by word, three years old. Why aren't you filtering the things out 
that these kids listen to. That kid supposed to be listening to Gracie's Corner. Gracie's Corner is fire as shit. I ain't got no kids right now, but every time I pass by Gracie's Corner, I'm in that bitch jugging vibing. You feel me? E. Yeah, I'm getting, I can't, I'm just thinking of songs right now, you feel me? But why is this kid listen to fuck nigga free? And I get it. Like, I'm all for ladies having their music. I love music. Got a notes hat on me. I love music. I'm all lady for ladies having their ratchet shit to turn up to and listen to and have fun. Because I have my share of fun to ratchet shit too. But if I'm with a little ass kid, they not going to be knowing the fucking words to the shit. You feel me? Some shit need to happen. Maybe this need to happen. You feel me? These ladies talking in the street, they talk and talk about opposite, you know what I think that officer did too much, man. Let me know in the comment section below. So imagine you beating her back out and her granny looking at you in disgust. Homie says a nigga like me gonna nut on it. <laughs> Niggas is really wild, bro. So black folks think if you don't look like this, then you have European features. KRS2. <laughs> hey, y'all fucked up for that. Y'all really fucked up. So, so Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion are trying out for the Los Angeles Chargers. Shut this up. Oh, let's go, Megan. There you go. Long try, long try. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Go, go, go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Go. Oh. Go to the NFL. They say Meg got here looking like DK Metcalf, though. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. So a small butt is not the same as a flat ass. And I agree. Um, you know, you got a, got a nice little cuff, that little bubble, you feel me? We fucks with that. I fucks with that at least, you know? You know, small, small butt is not the same of a flat pancake booty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, shit. No, you can't post this. I got a boyfriend now. Mm -hmm. Cause the hoes like this woman like me gotta go through it <laughs> yeah yeah better check them all all right so young miami is out lit in the club in jamaica there's some the city girls that's jt now I remember my days when I used to be in the clubs and shit like that, and you know, that, that, that used to be very, very enticing to see ladies throw that ass like that. You know, you see a lady in the club, you want to go and hop up on, or at least get a number so you can hop up on it later. So you know, it'd be situations like this that may occur. So this dude seen this chick in the club, and he wouldn't give her the number, so he decided to do this. <laughs> He deserve every bit of that shit. You gotta be some type of lame ass, gook ass shit to be doing some shit like that, bro. What the fuck wrong with you? Niggas gotta understand how to take re rejection, bro. What the fuck is your problem? You too old for that shit. First of all, I understand why she not fucking with you because you look like a fucking bum. This nigga got Walmart clothes on at the bar. What the fuck is you doing, boy? Niggas be lame as hell then get upset when nobody wanna fuck with you, bro. Obviously, why? For you to even have the mentality to do shit like this, she made a great decision by not fucking with your lame ass, you duck ass nigga. Everybody, please, men, control yourself. Control your emotions. If a woman doesn't want to fuck with you, it's you. You feel me? And you can move on and find somebody that do want to fuck with you or make yourself a better candidate. Make yourself someone that people want to fuck with. Don't get emotional and do shit like this. Because this shit right here, I can understand if it's not just her splitting your shit. Somebody else that speaks up for her, stands up for her, will rock your shit. All right? Because this is some lame shit. Don't ever be one of the dudes moving like this. Don't ever be one of those. Understand how to take rejection. It comes with life. You get better from it. If you see rejection, you understand that that is an opportunity for improvement. Not to be sad and bitch. 
over some shit like this. That's an opportunity for improvement. That means you have a chance to make yourself better. All right. All right. Don't get mad at the fucking world or whomever is rejecting you. They're protecting themselves. And obviously, this girl had to do it two times right here. Stupid ass nigga. Lame ass, gook ass nigga. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and show love for my birthday on Stacey Stuff Shop. 20% off everything over there. I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy Stacey and I fuck with you. The reason why? Because you fuck with me. Yay, I'm out.